Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh under oath testifying to the Senate Judiciary Committee defending himself against allegations of sexual assault. I'm here today to tell the truth. I've never sexually assaulted anyone. The woman taking the same pledge to tell the truth, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give before this committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you very much. She accused Kavanaugh of sexual assault at a party in 1982. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am here because I believe it is my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school. Dr. Ford described the alleged assault. I tried to yell for help. When I did, Brett put his hand over my mouth to stop me from yelling. This is what terrified me the most and has had the most lasting impact on my life. It was hard for me to breathe, and I thought that Brett was accidentally going to kill me. She said she didn't report the incident because she didn't want her parents to know she attended a party where alcohol was served. Kavanaugh denied the incident and ripped some members of the Democrats on the committee. This is a circus. The consequences will extend long past my nomination. We will have abandoned the basic principles of fairness and due process that define our legal system in our country. Dr. Ford told the committee she was certain of what happened. With what degree of certainty do you believe Brett Kavanaugh assaulted you? 100%. 100%. So what you are telling us is this could not be a case of mistaken identity? Absolutely not. This confirmation process has become a national disgrace. The Constitution gives the Senate an important role in the confirmation process, but you have replaced advice and consent with search and destroy. Tim Harfman, Currents News.